What's up everybody, Walker checking in here. Thanks for hopping into the John Bo Bandits channel. Now today's video we have something a little bit different than what we normally used to. Uh, today I have, I'm doing a product review for a switch panel. I'm making some upgrades to my boat and doing a lot of electrical things. And so I wanted to do a product review to help other people who are working on their John boats or just using the switch panel in general. If you're a regular at the channel, this may be a little bit different video than you're used to. You can, you leave it, that bothered me, uh, or you could stick around and just see some upgrades and learn some new things. If you're here for the review, uh, you're, you're in for good luck. I'm going to unbox it. I'm going to show you the things about it. I'm going to show you, show you the wiring diagrams. I'm going to show you uh, different modifications that I'm making. And then uh, later on in the video, I'll show you me actually installing it and using it uh, on my boat. Also, when you get done, check out uh, the rest of the content on our page. You know, we have everything from fishing vlogs to hunting, uh, just funny comedic videos. At least we, we think we're funny. Um, and just different things like that. So feel free to check it out. So what I will be installing is the Nylite six gang rocker switch panel. So this is a very multi-purpose switch panel. I got it from Amazon and when I bought it, it was uh, $35. I just went and checked, it was like 43. So I guess I got a, a deal on it when I bought it, but hopefully it's in that 35 to 45 price range, which is really good. And so far, um, everything looks uh, pretty solid with that order from me. So when you pop it out, this is your switch panel. This is your typical six gang, is what they refer to these, so six rocker panels uh, on this switchboard. And this switchboard contains the six switches, circuit breakers, the volt has a voltmeter, uh, USB plug-ins here, and also a uh, cigarette lighter uh, plug-in as well. Uh, and so these things um, are all wired up in the back like so. I'll show you the wired, wiring diagram in a little bit because I know this looks kind of confusing like that. But first thoughts, it seems to be pretty solid. It's uh, made of some really good metal. I don't think that's going to break easily. These are pretty decent quality switches that, you know, switch like switches. Um, I'm not exactly sure how the circuit breakers work yet. Hopefully I don't have to use them. I know in theory how they work, but I haven't actually had to use these. Um, yet because I, I haven't installed it. So let's check out what else comes in the box with it. So first off we have uh, a sheet from Nylite. This has a wiring diagram, also asking you to leave a review. It's got the warranty information on there. It comes with a two year warranty. Um, so if something breaks, obviously make a problem continue. Uh, then we got the four screws to screw it in with some stickers uh, to label the lights. We have another uh, thing of stickers. So plenty of stickers, plenty of options. And then we also have this little rubber uh, seal that when you're installing it, just put it back there and have the steel. So it basically comes with everything you need for the panel to work. The only thing you'll need now is your accessories, your lights, whatever you need, wire to get it there, and then uh, the connections in order to make, um, to have the quick connects to the panel, uh, and then whatever uh, other connections you may need um, for that. So I figured it'd be beneficial as well to go ahead and just run some power through the panel, just show you how it lights up. The particular one that I bought is blue. And so it has blue LEDs along the bottom of the, the switches here, blue LEDs uh, when they're lit up. And then also the voltmeter will read uh, your voltage coming through. And the USB port has a light that comes on. And uh, this is really don't have a light, but it still receives power. So I'm just going to connect red to positive and black to negative real fast to show you all the lights, how they light up. And if I can get a good connection, you can see those things. Now I'm going to flip the switches, a couple of them, so you can see the difference in these things. And voila, there are the lights and how those work. All right, now to a more digital uh, version of the wiring diagram. Here to the left, I have a picture of the wiring diagram that is sent with uh, the box and with the kit and everything like that. And then the picture right there is a more close-up view. As you can see, everything is wired correctly with quick connects, and they're in there. So I have it broken down a little bit more here with uh, the different aspects uh, of the, the panel. The power socket, USB charger, voltmeter. Uh, I threw in two accessories. I'm going to have uh, five or six. You can have as many, I mean, you can have up to six, obviously. Um, or if you have multiple, log in the, uh, in the one. 
uh, to the left is the battery, rocker switches, circuit breakers. So uh, this is how it is originally wired. And this is how everything is, is going on. So from here, you can see that from the positive side of the battery, where the power is coming from, it goes through the circuit breakers and then down into uh, the switches so that you can you know, power your accessories. And then it also continues on up, providing constant power to the voltmeter, USB charger, power socket. These longer ones here are providing power to the backlight LEDs of the switches. And those are for when the battery is connected, those are on, as well as providing constant power to uh, the top uh, circles as well. So I uh, will show you how it, you are supposed to wire things now. With the accessories, you will wire them directly to the switches for the positive, and those will go into, there's a, uh, a quick connect socket there that you just want, you just have the wires connected into there. And then the negatives for each of your accessories will go to, back to the battery. And uh, for simplification, I'm using a bus bar. Uh, if you don't know what that is, that's just a connector that you can connect everything to and go straight to the battery, limit your number of wires uh, for that. And as you can see here, here's how everything is just wired straight up if you were to do the accessories like that. Now for example, my modifications that I will be making, I've moved the accessories over to different switches and I will be unhooking the LED backlights. And so those, uh, eliminated those from this this view they will still be hanging there uh, and taped up like i showed earlier but they will not be connected and i will connect the voltmeter usb charger power socket into one of the switches so i can turn it on when i wanted to all right everybody now we're to the install so uh it's a brand new day thought it was gonna be raining but either way i'm out of the sun and uh, my friend's carport so i'm gonna show you what i'm running in with right now so right now we have uh, we got trolling motor wires back here, and we got the two cube lights and the, I mean, all my lights are just hooked up on these two right now. With, here's a, a switch for the light bar. You know, we can run it through here. I just got everything kind of hanging out. Got a switch here. And this is just kind of messy um, as, of, as of right now. But we have uh, two cube lights on the side. We got a nice little nav light here, and then uh, the light bar. But I'm um, putting in an nav light, I'm putting in an LED strip. So we got a couple different things like that. So I'm going to, to show you uh, where I put the switch panel. Uh, and that is going to here beside my driver's seat right here. And then hook every, wire everything through here, cut a hole here, and have everything hooked up to the battery back there. So that's the, that's the plan. We'll see how it goes. All right, so I'm working on my switch panel modifications here. I talked about, I uh, went ahead and cut this wire and now I'm going to uh, run it uh, with quick connect down to this switch down here so that I can um, turn on when I want to. And we'll see how that goes. See here, I have now attached a longer wire, so a little quick connect down there, and I'm gonna turn it on, uh, or you know, put the battery on it, and make sure that when I flip this switch, it turns on the voltmeter and everything else that I need. All right, let's give it a shot. So it is a big moment for my uh, my personal engineering skills to to see if this works. And I put it on the opposite side, unfortunately. Uh, well, that's the way I had to do it, but let's see if I can still hold this down and still reach it like I need to. Right, well, they don't come on, so that's good. Flip the switch. And now they do come on. So, sweet, that's exactly what I needed to do. And then I'll flip the switch back off, and they should stay off. And voila, it worked out great. All right, cool. Now, uh, next is to run the wires and then cut some cut the conduit to fit. I couldn't get it all, so I was gonna run it all the way through, but that just really didn't work because it's it's exact. It's the exact uh, spacing spacing that I need, uh, and so it's hard to run a guide wire when you don't have that much space. Um, but we're gonna run the run the wires, 
start cutting and then we'll install this. This is kind of like a, a last last thing just to make sure everything you know works uh, right. So let's go. Alright, so using the seal uh, to trace an outline, I have something where to cut. So I have the holes marked for the screws, but that's not going to do me any good as far as cutting the hole. So now I have an outline of where I need to cut, uh, so I have the cavity, and then the screws will go over here in the corners of these. Alright, keep in mind, this is uh, not a not a tutorial, it's a product review, and so our hole that we cut is not a tutorial. I don't recommend using a, a wood blade on a jigsaw, but we'll show you that the product works ideally when we get done. But for reference, we did get the hole cut. It's kind of ugly, but we'll figure it out here in a minute. All right. All right, so we're starting to get everything wired up here. We have uh, all of our uh, positives, you know, hooked up with the quick connects. And now we have everything wired up to this bus bar. Just about, we got one more to, to figure out, which is gonna mount right here. And then this goes directly to the battery. And then the next steps are to get the rest of the lights put in, all that good stuff, hook it up and try it out. What's up everybody, we're back with the uh, the final product, the final uh, to show you what it looks like. The other night it was storming really bad, uh, so we had to finish up really fast. And then yesterday I was working on it, a little bit was gonna get this done, and then I jabbed a hook through my finger. And so that wasn't fun, but we're here to show you the final uh, switch panel. As you can see, uh, we got it built in here. I uh, didn't cut very straight, and so I had to fill it in a little bit with foam. I'm gonna go and, I just cleaned this up a little bit. I still got some cleaning up to do. Um, but I'm gonna paint it around just to make sure it, look, sure it looks good. I went ahead and added some stickers for my lights and I'll show you what those look like here in a minute. Um, but this one is the voltmeter and it has the voltmeter, the USB plug, and the cigarette lighters, how it's hooked up. Uh, this is my big light bar, my cube lights, uh, my inside lights, which turned out really good. I really like these and maybe I'll, I'll, I'll toss in a picture of them at night. They looked really great. And then this is my nav lights, as you can kind of see uh, that backlight may be lit right there. But I'll turn these all on up front and show you what they look like. So, I mean, everything looks great. It's bright, it's getting all the power into it, uh, and I really like it. So, that should be the last part of the review. Uh, I think it's pretty solid. It's good, good for its money. Uh, you know, I worked really hard to make sure everything was wired correctly. Uh, but it works really well. Uh, it's pretty tough, and I'm really excited to get on the water and use it. Uh, so if you liked, if you have any comments or questions about it, like feel free to leave those uh, on on the uh, page here, and I'll, I'll try to get back to you and let you know how it, it turns out. And I'll update uh, any uh, the description if anything decides to go wrong with it. But thanks for coming. Remember to check out the Jumbo Bandits and everything else that we have to offer. Um, but if not, like the video, let us know how you liked it, um, and we'll see you next time.